Let's make ricotta balls. All right. Release some Allison, smash the garlic, then rough chop. After that, add a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of your Dutch oven. Open up your can of crushed tomatoes. Pour about a cup of water in there and rinse it out. Add in some capers, throw in your garlic, two Parmesan rinds, and about four tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir that up and let's start making our ricotta balls. About 150 grams of breadcrumbs. About 30 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano about 20 grams of pecorino and another 30 grams of asiago then crack about two eggs and make sure you whisk them well now add in your breadcrumbs all of your cheese now it's time to add your ricotta make sure you get all of it out of the little cup. And because my knives weren't sharp, I'm using a garlic press. And finally chop some parsley, add it into the bowl, and start to stir. Stir and fold until everything is fully incorporated and you're ready to make your ricotta balls. Now let's start forming these ricotta balls. Imagine if you're making like one of those cartoon sized jawbreakers. And it's gonna take a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it. If you have any left over, do yourself a favor, make a little tiny one. They're cute. Boop. Now that your sauce has been cooking for about an hour and a half, two hours, get your immersion blender, blend it up, make it nice and smooth. When it's at the consistency that you like, start adding in your ricotta balls. You wanna space them out a little bit and you'll quickly realize that your Dutch oven may not be big enough, but you could probably fit them all in there. Um, at this point, they're pretty soft, so be gentle with them as you're moving them around and trying to cover them with the sauce. It's actually easier to move them around and cover them as you're cooking. So after about 10 minutes, you can start plating. Realizing that I need to replace my squeaky stairs, I will continue this recipe. And uh, yeah, let's add some sauce. Some Parmigiano Reggiano on top and a little bit of parsley. There you go. There's your ricotta ball dish. And today we're gonna pair this dish with Human Robots Sedlec 12, the Czech Pilsner. Uh, it's a really nice beer. It has a little bit of bitterness to it, good carbonation to cut through the sauce, and comes in about 5.4 ABV. So yeah. You could have a couple of these and not feel too bad. As you can see, I keep going in for more and more bites. It's a delicious meal and I have to say, it pairs very well with this beer. Thanks for watching.